so I'm not to be denied, especially on my own shit. Never be denied on your own shit. Never be denied. They will always try to deny you, but don't you deny yourself your own shit. Don't you deny your blessings. Don't let, don't just give away your blessings to somebody else or let someone finish your story. That is always the problem with us. We allow others to finish our story and they don't know our story. They can't tell our story. And if they tell our story, I guarantee you they're going to put themselves in the better part of the story because that's just what people do. So that's why I say no one, no one, no one on this planet, no one that knows me will ever, ever, ever. I don't care if you've known me from the time I was born and before I was born. No one will ever know my story more than I do because I live it. I sleep it, I eat it, I shit it, I breathe it every day. So back to the music I play, because my computer's doing so, I mean, the whole thing is just shut down right now. Like, right as, you know, machines get ready to cut, the whole computer's just shut down, and it's just, like, sp spinning and not doing anything, which is okay. We're going to take this opportunity, the time to uh, speak to you, because the great thing about this is you know the show is going to air next week anyway. So you're going to get this word. You're going to get this word. So maybe you're supposed to get this word. It's interesting how things and how the timing is right now. I sound like I'm on coffee and I'm not. I'm always sounding like I'm on coffee. That's when you know the, uh, the, the, it, that's when you know. But, uh, so did you shut down completely? I didn't even hit the shut off button. Wow. What's <laughs> going on? What I was trying to say though, as far as music, don't let anybody tell you who or what you should like. I do not like listening to, uh, I love Luther Vandross and Anita Baker and I love them in the day, but I don't want to listen to that. Go to, uh, uh, I don't want to, I, I don't want to listen to slow jams. If I want to go to sleep, I know how to go to sleep. I'm a DJ. I'm a, a, not just a DJ, but a radio announcer. I forgot Mr. Farmer, our broadcasting instructor, used to say we are different than a DJ. DJ spin records, which I don't know. But anyway, any DJ, I mean, a DJ can spin records. A radio announcer can speak. Not all DJs can speak. You know that. Not all DJs can cut a commercial. Not all DJs can put a clear sentence together. I mean, if that's what you want in all your commercials, but you'll never... You'll never hear a Lexus commercial with someone. Holler, you better go and get that Lexus now. And that's not being discriminatory or anything. That's just a fact. Sometimes you got to just deal with the facts. And again, with the facts of the music, I am a radio announcer. I've, I grew up on music. My parents knew music, great music, all kinds of music. Like I said, my, my, my music, I lost more. As I was trying to say. I lost more music in the in-law fire. That's what I called it. I lost more music in the in-law fire than some of you will ever have. I lost millions to maybe even billions of dollars. If they were smart, they would have. But I'm sure they didn't cash in on that at all. Or if they did, it didn't go well. Because they got it by wrong means. And they know how. And they know why I say wrong. But I'm just saying, and these were like classic vintage albums that can never be duplicated. Covers and stuff like that. And for people to not know what they did, when people have done clearly done wrong and they still don't acknowledge it, I don't even bother to have conversation. It's nothing to talk about. There's nothing to talk about. There's no, like, no, we no, we don't need to get together. No, we don't need to do anything. That chapter is over. I'm good. Thank you for the experience. I have moved on, never wanting to repeat that path with you again. Whoever that goes to and to everybody, don't take it up. Don't be offended. We all just don't graduate at the same time. And we all just don't go to the same places when we do. Some people go out of state. Some people stay on the farm. Some people, some of us go to the moon. I'm just saying my musical tastes, my musical tastes are different than most people who think that they knew me growing up. Even the music I played. Do you ever notice that the music I played every time I was on any radio station was always different than the music everybody else played? Program directors and consultants didn't make me or my numbers. I did. So, all of that being said is don't ever pigeonhole me to certain music or feel some kind of way when I say I would rather go to a good hip-hop concert. A good, and let me qualify good, like a like a Mo's Def, like a Black Star, like a Tribe Called Quest. I, I would rather go to something like that than a, a Southern Soul concert. I just would. I mean, I'm just not into, you know, I'll do the commercials. I get it. I get, I, I get the marketing. 
I get and I can even it's like blues. It took me a minute to get into blues and that's a classic. That's our that's a part of our heritage. But just because it's a part of our heritage doesn't mean we like everything. Like my dad loved westerns. I couldn't I didn't but but I did like some. You know, but for the most part I I didn't like westerns. Army movies now I love the hell out of horror movies. That, my my parents which is weird because I was I at a young age I was reading Vampirella and Uncle Creepy. At a young age. My parents were very open individuals. As far as me learning as much as I could. They stayed. They watched me. But they, they were like. They let me. If I was interested in it. Okay. Well you you, you read it. You find out. you like. Okay. And they were. It's good. They were, my parents were good parents. Gods are good parents. Real gods are good parents with their children. The real. Mine. I can't talk about. I don't know. Maybe yours weren't. All gods aren't equal. So the point I'm trying to make is it's like my talent. My talent's not equal to anybody. So when anybody says, I'm just like you, no, you're just like you. You're not like me. It's when you start to try to be like me when it becomes a problem. Because there's no co competition when it comes to me. Anybody who has ever tried to compete with me finds out the hard way. There is no competing with me. You can't compete with me with what I do. Competing with me was your lesson. Not your blessing, because people think that they can steal from what I do, and that's going to become their blessing. You know how they do that. You know how slaves and slave masters do. We're all troublemakers here, but that's okay. And I'm just saying, don't paint me, don't pigeonhole, don't pigeonhole me with music, media, or movies, because I have my own, or and definitely on politics. Most of your politicians that you stand or simp or support, I don't. I know their character, and their character is shoddy and shitty. But, you know, that's your people. So, you know, you go ahead. I'm right now live and let live. Just don't get in my way. Okay? But, uh, anyway. I don't know what's happening with this today. Maybe this is just not the day my show is supposed to air. This has been a weird day. But you know what? I don't care. I've done the work. Once, once you have made the burger... You've done your job, you know, at least to, to this degree. Once you've made the burger, you know, you can't control the flow of the server. So, so, you know, I just like, you know, I guess tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow. See, you always have options. Don't forget tomorrow. And at least on one of these options is going to air on time, if not both of them. I'm not trying to be funny. You can't say I'm trying to be funny, guys, because you know what you do more than I do. So, uh, and I mean, I, I'll be the first to admit I will get my shit in notoriously late. But when I get it in fairly on time and it doesn't air, it's off on me. One of the reasons why I do philanthropy, I call my show philanthropy, because I really don't take uh, uh, sponsorships on it to a certain degree because of the, you know, complexity of the airing, the sporadicness. But I'm going to. Starting in 2023. I've got that stuff down to a science. So trust me, you know, getting a sponsorship on Soul School Cafe, that can uh, up your brand. For real, for real, for real. Because you know my show be popping. My show is different than anybody else's. That's why they try to, like, control it and make it into something. Like, it, because it stands out from everybody. But it's supposed to stand out from everybody's show. My show is not supposed to be like everybody's show. My show is not supposed to be like an old school show or a southern soul show or a gospel hip-hop show or, or just a poetry show. My show is so much more than that. Or just a talk show. My show is so much more than that. It's so much more than that. My show is, is, is me. It's, a, it's, it's an extension of me. And the different types and genres of music. Remember when I started out. I called it Jazzitude. And then somebody stole that name right out from under me. And then when I did Soul School Cafe. But I put Val Jones on it because uh i mean it's funny how then all of a sudden a lot of val jones started popping up but at the end of the day bitch that's my name so you can't steal my name i mean i would like to see someone try to sue me for using my you know somebody would did try when we talked about that one time before i will help push you but then and then you know you give me you you give me like you know your name uh to push you know give me control of your like sign over my name or something like that like they really do that like no Woman, no. I'm not going to say. I was given this at birth. I don't give you my name that I was given at birth for you to push. And then, you know, if I decide to go, you keep. No, we're not doing that. 
And everything's still all good. You know what? We left We we left on decent terms as far as uh, two people can do. So some of the people you think I have uh, beef with, I don't. Maybe you do. But we're cool. They kind of looked out for me, which is kind of like right now. Your enemy might not be my enemy because at the end of the day, the enemy of your enemy is your friend. You don't read those 48. Well, I don't always read them either. I told you, I got the instructions. I just don't read instructions. I am the book. And I don't even read me. So what makes people think they can read me when I don't even read me half the time? I just be. Anyway, so tomorrow, Ray, sorry, but the show will air. The show should air tomorrow on WGLRO, WGLRO, uh, and WJHM 102 Jams, WJHM 102 Jams, yes, So School Cafe, Val Jones, spotlighting the music of Black Star, see, you know, see how epic this show was tonight, I get, I, I get the interference, of Black Star and a wonderfully insightful, uh, amazing interview. From the dirt road legend himself, Mr. Ray Harvey. He, uh, you know, I love playing artists who I literally can verify their walk and verify their story. And I know that they're not capping. That they're not bullshitting. And that's why I don't, I won't play some of the music that I play on my, because a lot of these people just be capping. You aren't doing nowhere near the shit that you're saying. And if you are, you're either, you know, you're either on your way to hell or to jail. Why would I push this stuff on kids? Why would we're supposed? How how's the future for children or ki or even your kids supposed to be better? What do your kids think looking at you for what you do? But you're okay with that? Then you're not my crew. That's just it. And some people really are okay doing whatever. Do you? Because I don't want to do you. You have a problem with me. See, that's when it starts to be a problem. See, because that's when my daddy and my mama starts to come into play. And I tell you on this day, you don't want to fuck with. It cut off just like that. Did that shake you? Like an earthquake? Do I make your heart earth? Do I make your your heart quake? Do I make your earthquake? Do I? Does does the power of Christ compel you? Does it, Jay? Does the power of Christ compel? You? I'm having all types of stories in my head. Don't don't worry about me. Ooh, I'm having a uh, I'm having an old woman sipation moment. Oh whoa yeah oh whoa emancipation. Get the language right. Oh, whoa, emancipation. Because, oh, and it's a woman-cipation. It's not a man But it is kind of like, 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 like if you're on menopause. There are a lot of women right now who are on menopause. Mother Earth is on menopause. And when mom is on menopause, the stupid shit that men do, she will fry you. <laughs> Yeah, I could be like lying, right? But those who know know everything I just said is true. Have you ever seen a woman up close and in person? My dad would run and leave me in the house. I literally mean that. It's like he dip, and I'm like, ah, 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 ah. I'll be back. I'll be back. This fifth cat, this kick anybody's at the kick and would and did. And my little five foot two mother getting one of her minimum. Daddy dip. So don't tell me mother. It's not a force to be reckoned with. You men. Mankind. You think you can do so much with your dick. You think you are the shit. There ain't not one man that can outdo mother nature. Not one. I keep telling you. You get all your men together. Build a pyramid. Build a pyramid against a raging tornado a raging storm a raging anything when that storm comes through just what i think you won't do nothing because mother got something for you was man able to stop the flood in the red sea seemed like man drowned <laughs> i don't know why that's so funny to me right now i don't know like lessons 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 that Oops, I said too much. It should. Anyway, so that's all I got to say. I, you know what? I don't, it doesn't seem like, maybe that's my cue to go to bed. It's been a long day. I ain't got no, I ain't got no words. It's okay. It's been all good to me. I got some food. I'm going to go ahead and eat some more food and maybe like, you know, eat some food. <laughs> and then I'm just going to like, I'll eat. I love how you
Oh, anyway, uh, sorry. No, it was, I, my show is not on, but it's something else. It's like redirect. But that's okay. I'm going to go to bed and like, you know, because tomorrow's another day. And my show's going to air anyway next week's Soul School Cafe. And it's going to be wonderful because on Thanksgiving, on Legend one, on Legend 107 next week on Thursday on Thanksgiving, this show Thanksgiving, which is just apropos that it does set on Thanksgiving on Legend 107 Radio with uh, Yasin Bey and Talib Kweli and uh, the wonderful Ray Harvey. Next Thursday on Legend 107. Tonight, I don't know, redirect it. You know, that's that, that, that Smiths will do that. <laughs> I'm telling too many family secrets. You know, Smiths will redirect you to some shit. You know, <laughs> off your game. But, you know, some of us know how to get right back on it. Yeah, who's following who? Anyway, I'm sorry. Just a conversation in my head. Anyway, uh, my show, So School Cafe, comes on whenever it comes on. But trust me, when it comes on, it's going to be epic. Tomorrow, definitely, WGLRO and WJHM 102 Jams uh, at 10 p.m. Eastern. Next Thursday, Thanksgiving, have a Thanksgiving party. If you're a Ray Harvey fan, have a Thanksgiving party, you know, because that is going to be an epic show. Next Thursday, Legend 107 Radio. Yes, Thanksgiving evening. I know some of y'all be watching the game, but everybody ain't watching the game, you know. And, uh, of course, uh, whenever it airs on ASSK Radio, it's up to Sam. <laughs> and Sam does what Sam does. You know, Pisces. We do what we... No. <laughs> anyway, good night. <laughs> I'm going on that one.